Top of the morning. As you may know, Songkran is only 13 days away. What is Songkran? Songkran is basically one long, week-long water fight. Buckets, hoses, balloons, used to drench thousands from top to toe. And well, Songkran is Thailand's uh, New Year's festival. It goes for three days, but in Pattaya, it goes for 10 days. Songkran is the biggest festival of the year. And it's not just any old festival. Sorry. It's a water festival. I'll pull off here and I'll explain what we're doing today. Okay, now I've noticed in the shops these super soakers. Remember super soakers in the 90s? Remember that ad? Of course, this is a Thai knockoff. Songkran is an amazing time for YouTubers to make content, to make videos that people from all around the world watch. And there's a lot of them. So you have to make really good videos to stand out of the crowd. So this morning, I woke up and I thought to myself, what better way to stand out of the crowd than build a battle bike for a whole week of warfare on the streets of Pattaya. So task number one today, find three more of these super soakers and install four sets of holsters on my bike. All right, task number one. We need to find three more guns. And not just any guns, big bright pink guns. <laughs> It occurs to me that before I commit to buying a whole battle bike's worth of pink arsenal to inflict the most carnage on unsuspecting dry people during Songkran, I need to do a weapons test on this one. And for that, I'm gonna need some friends. So let's go find a friend. up hanging around here at David's pool to test out the water pistols but also because it was so bloody hot outside. It is 1st of April 2024 and it is the first day of summer and it has got hot as The pool temperature is I want to say at least 34 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit that is high. Ridiculous. A pool, a pool should never feel like that. So if you're planning to come to Thailand in Songkran, a hey, let me know in the comments because I'm fascinated to know. And B, have you been here during April before? Because I haven't. It's hot, man. It's hot already. And in 12 days time, it's gonna be even hotter. Okay, off we go. Next task, go to the hardware store and find some clips to attach these bad boys to the battle bike. I asked the hardware staff if they had a clip and I sort of demonstrated it using, using hand signals and they were like, oh no, no, my me, my me, no have, definitely don't have. I'm gonna find one here. 10 seconds later, found a whole aisle of clips. What do you think? Not exactly what I had in mind, but we're getting closer. I'm unsure if this is the solution. We'll work it out when we get home. Damn hot today, so I think I need to get myself a fruit icy slushy thing. Now, I've just moved to this part of Jom Tien Pattaya, so I don't know where anything is. Every time I want something, I have to go hunting. Nothing that even remotely resembles an iced smoothie. One of the things about filming here is that you don't get a sense of the heat through the video. You'll see me sweating and perspiring, but you don't really feel how hot it is. Given the heat and the fact that Lily's at home and she's requesting a fruity drink to be delivered to her, we're gonna go with this iced tea shop. Ask for strawberry, got coconut, that's normal. In fact, that, that's a daily thing here in Thailand. It's something that I've had to adjust to. Now that pink water pistol came from a 7-Eleven, but it was the last one at that 7-Eleven. So I'm gonna go 
from 7-Eleven to 7-Eleven till I find three more of them. No. Every color except pink. Plus, the air conditioning, it's a nice change from the heat. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, the pump action, the squeeze action on this. All right, we're just gonna use this boy as a test. <laughs> Where's Lily when you need her? All right. <laughs> it's got some serious... <laughs> She's got, she's got a big pink one. So what do you have? <laughs> Is this one good? Oh, I like the feel of this one. This one's a lot better than the small one. <laughs> I found a target. No, I won't shoot the kid. That's really mean. Huh? This one just doesn't have the oomph of those really big green ones. But I want the pink for the battle bike. Gone. <laughs> okay, YouTube. Uh, uh. See you later, homie. Get ready for Song Cran. Uh, cheers, bro. <laughs> now, when choosing your weaponry, one has to consider the size of the arsenal. We don't want to go into battle ill prepared. And this is serious stuff, guys. I won't be the only one preparing. I mean, some people have been preparing for months. 13 days out, I think I'm just in time. Now, it's also probably not a silly idea to carry a sidearm. For those emergency times, it's been a while, let's, uh, let's see how I go on my draw. One, two, three. <laughs> Yay, the lady's squirting at me. Case in point, if I didn't have the sidearm ready, where would I be? Gotta work on that draw though. We are a long way from Dirty Harry speeds. The final decision has been made. Whilst we're not going with the weapon with the highest power, one must also consider aesthetics. And the word for pink in Thai is chompu. We're gonna call this chompu. <laughs> 500 baht is insane, but it's a seller's market. <laughs> Back to the battle bike to attach the weapon. Move it now. Okay, you can see that final installation of the light squad automatic weapon uh, has taken place and she's locked in there. Uh, after much research and development, the squadron has settled upon this pink gun to be the primary weapon of defense and offense during the Song Cran period from 13th to 19th of April. <laughs> Another foreigner of similar complexion and from his facial expression, I think he's met his match. I think he's realized what's going on this year, that people are making preparations for this battle of good versus evil. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see these local tribes kids, uh, they aspire to this level of armament. <laughs> G-O. You guys can read and write English. So cool. We're getting it. Gone. All right, one one. Empty. We're buying some. Empty. Empty. Your name? Ah. Pom Chu Sam. Sam. Kun Tua Lai. Be. Be. No. 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 And Be. YouTube. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Keep passing part. Ah. Yeah. Well done. Business magnates in the making here. Nice to meet you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You too, soy dog. There is one thing, one thing left to do before we can give the se before we can give the seal of approval. Come and say goodbye. Bye bye. There's one more thing that we have to do, that we need to do before we can give the final stamp of approval to this tank, this battle bike. We're gonna test our CQB skills in a real, non-lethal bar environment. And what better a bar in Jom Tien than Danny's Bamboo Bar? Go, 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 The plan was to execute a CQB scenario here, but I think I'd rather have a beer. I'm gonna put my gun away because here is a YouTuber named Sam, also from India, now living in Thailand, and he was just doing a live. My name is Sam, and my name is Sam as well. Sam is meeting Sam today. <laughs>
to follow his channel because he have great content on his uh, YouTube and uh, do subscribe the channel if you like the video please hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, bell icon. <laughs> the fucking goal. Hey. So we're back at the arms store. Lily wanted to purchase herself her own gun. Yeah, this one. This is the one that we trialled earlier. Serious firepower. Missy, do you think it'll be too much for you? No, I like to shoot everyone in the ass. <laughs> I don't want to know what these cost. 1,200 bucks. Oh my god. Have funny. My me You know have? I'm not paying 1,500 baht for a water pistol. Day one of Songkran, whoever buys Lili a 1,500 baht weapon gets to choose her outfit for day one of Songkran. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can provide, <laughs> Lili can provide some options, perhaps three or four, and whoever buys the rifle can have the final say. How about that? Are you happy with that? Not really, no. 